Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. I got a question earlier today uh, from a high school student in Missouri asking about uh, what would it cost to build an Iowa-class battleship today with the full modern outfit, not what uh, did it cost to originally build one adjusted for inflation, what would it actually cost to build one of these today? Uh, and you know, we, we've covered videos talking about the battleship in the modern world a couple of times in the past, but uh, 2022, we've got a new level of inflation, so I had to look it up again, and uh, we're going to talk about what I found out. So first off, I'm not in the uh, modern Navy or any like government accounting type office. I can't sit there and be like, okay, it's going to cost this much to add a vertical launch tube and this much for uh, an Aegis radar system and this much for this and that and the other thing. Uh, that's not how I'm going to do this. Uh, we're going to look at a comparable sized ship and look at that as a, as a good starting point. So first off, let's look at what this thing would be adjusted for inflation. Most of the sources say they cost $100 million in 1940 to build an Iowa-class battleship. That is not counting guns and armor which were paid for separately for whatever reason. So really, $150 million is more like the cost to build an Iowa-class battleship in 1940. You adjust that for inflation, and it gets you somewhere between two and three billion dollars. If you're looking at the 100 million, uh, it's about two billion dollars today, 2022. Uh, you look at the 150 million, it puts you around three billion. So how does that compare to, uh, obviously that's just building a 1940s era ship today, what would it be if we started adding all the modern electronics? Modern ships are significantly more expensive than World War II ships. If, if you look at a 10,000-ton uh, World War II ship and a 10,000-ton Arleigh Burke destroyer, even when you adjust for inflation, that Arleigh Burke destroyer is more expensive because of all the electronics that go into it. So assuming we're modernizing our Iowa-class battleship, what's that going to cost? I looked at the uh, amphibious assault ship USS America. This is a class of 11 amphibious assault ships, basically baby aircraft carriers. Uh, the America class is the rough equivalent to the light carriers like the Independence class of World War II. Uh, they carry about 30 aircraft. They're significantly smaller than the full fleet size carriers, the nuclear carriers. Uh, but they are at about 45,000 tons displacement to build, which is roughly the same as an Iowa-class battleship. So that is the nearest analog. Today's video is brought to you by Established Titles. Established Titles uses the ancient Scottish tradition of making landowners a laird or lady, lord or lady, uh, by simple merit of owning property in Scotland. So established titles allows you to buy as little as one square foot of property in Scotland to become a Scottish lord or lady. This is a prefix like Mr. or Mrs. that you can put on things like your plane tickets, your credit cards, and even your dating profiles. That one's my favorite. They send you a certificate like this one. I'm Lord Ryan Mick Szymanski now. Established titles makes a great last minute gift idea. Remember the holiday season is approaching and they donate to One Trees Planted and Trees for the Future. I absolutely love this environmentalism about the company. Remember to use the discount code BATTLESHIP to get 10% off your next purchase, and the first 200 people who purchase will get a plot right next to mine in the same kingdom. Established Titles makes a great last-minute gift, and they're running an amazing sale right now in addition to our discount code so go over there soon. Go to establishedtitles.com slash battleship and use the discount code battleship to get your gifts now and support our channel and our museum. It costs about $3.4 billion to build one of those ships today. Uh, that is relatively cheap because it's a whole batch run of 11 of these ships. If we were only building one of them, uh, then that price would probably be a little bit more. Uh, so that's a good starting point for where would an Iowa-class battleship be today. It would be about $3 billion if we were just adjusting for inflation. It would be about $3.5 if we are 
doing all the modern electronics and everything else. The problem is we have everything tooled up to build an America class um, amphibious assault ship. We have zero infrastructure left to make a 16 inch gun barrel or a 17 inch armor plate like the faceplate of the turret here. We haven't built stuff like this, gun cruisers or armored ships since roughly World War II. So that infrastructure has gone away. So there is an additional price associated with building these ships uh, that I can't quantify. I, I don't know how to measure that. Uh, we would have to retool to do this. We know how to do it. We know how to make the gun. We know how to make the armor. We just don't have any factories or shipyards that are set up to do that anymore because we don't do that anymore. So uh, there is probably billions of dollars of expense that would have to go into getting a uh, factory or foundry or shipyard uh, up to speed to be able to do this again. Well, let's say we're, we're not doing this kind of 16 inch gun anymore. It's modern, we're doing a rail gun. Well, the rail gun program's dead. We'd have to throw money into it to develop a rail gun uh, for a ship this size. Yeah, we, we haven't developed a working rail gun yet. So um, we, we still have to spend billions of dollars to do that. So there is the cost of building this ship Let's say it's the Iowa class battleship. It's only four units. It's not 11 units like the America. So, so it's $4 billion uh, today to build the actual ship, but tens of billions of dollars to get the infrastructure to be able to do it again. So you look at uh, that and then you're like, okay, uh, what is it going to cost to reactivate an Iowa class battleship? Now, my math is that it would be about $2 billion uh, and probably about a year of work to reactivate this ship. So that's great. That's significantly cheaper than building new. The problem is um, it will cost hundreds of million dollars every single day to keep one of these in operation. Not only do you have the cost of a really large crew in an all volunteer Navy, uh, you have the cost of all the fuel. Diesel isn't cheap nowadays. And you've got the cost of maintaining a ship that's 80 years old. In the 1980s, when these ships were 40 years old, they were constantly changing out plumbing and other fittings like that, uh, and that costs money. And nowadays, just crank that up to 11. We have to do that as a museum, and we don't have the ship going through the concussion of firing these 16 inch guns. So there, the initial cost, very cheap comparatively to bring one of these back, uh, very expensive to keep them in service. Uh, it would be significantly cheaper for a new built Iowa class battleship. Especially uh, if you're comparing this to say the capital ships of the day, a Ford class uh, nuclear carrier, which costs over $13 billion a unit. So the $4 billion you'd spend on building a new Iowa class battleship uh, is cheap compared to that. Now that said, a lot of that cost comes from the Fords being nuclear powered. I was calculating uh, for one of these ships to be steam turbine or gas turbine. Uh, so if we're gonna make it a nuclear powered ship, uh, just double that cost, double, double that 4 billion into 8 billion. Still cheaper than a Ford class carrier, uh, but now significantly more expensive to uh, build. And it means that we're gonna build it in Newport News Shipbuilding where, where they're building the Ford class carriers, which is one less Ford class carrier we can put out into service. Which means that our aging Nimitz class carriers, which were built in the 80s, are um, not being replaced. So there's all sorts of things like this you, get, you gotta consider when you're doing this. Or you can spend billions of dollars and build a new shipyard that can support an Iowa class battleship and, and nuclear reactors or whatever. And you're paying for it one way or another. So uh, without going into should the Navy rebuild or reactivate Iowa class battleships, which is a discussion that uh, may never end, if you were in charge of the Navy and you had orders to bring back battleships, would you build them new 
based on the numbers I just gave you, or would you reactivate the ones that are museums? Let us know in the comment section down below which you think is the more cost-effective uh, option over the life of a ship. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support, and we really appreciate the support of established titles who are the sponsors for today's video. Remember, there's a link in the description below uh, to check out the sale that they have going on now, and you can get some more money off your order using the discount code BATTLESHIP. You can also support the museum by liking, sharing, subscribing so more people find out about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.